السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ سو ویلکم کلاس ٹویلو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ٹو ڈے اباؤٹ اور یونٹ نمبر تھری دیٹ از فنڈامنٹلس آف ٹی بی ایم ایس وی ہیو آلریڈی کور دا تھیارٹیکل پارٹ آف دس یونٹ وی ہیو ٹاک اباؤٹ دا ڈیٹا بیس انٹروڈکشن وی ہیو ٹاک اباؤٹ ڈفرینٹ 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 بیس بیسک تھنگس دیٹ وی ریکوائر ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ اے ڈیٹا بیس we have understood what a dbms means and uh, all these uh, all these um, concepts like the table attributes rows fields candidate uh, candidate keys alternate keys primary keys foreign keys etc and as well as the constants so today we are going to talk about uh, oracle so here we have this uh, software um uh, this topic in your um, unit number 3 that is software like oracle vb visual c++ and etc we we are going to discuss about these softwares in our upcoming classes but today we are going to specifically talk about this oracle oracle is basically a database management system software now why are we going to discuss about this oracle because your second portion of this unit will be dealing with how uh, using this sql language and uh, different kinds of commands and as well as uh, different kinds of inbuilt functions like this and these character and the string functions and many other functions that sql provides uh, specifically uh, we will be uh, we will be trying to understand how to install this oracle software on our system first because then then only uh, first if we know how to install the software then only we can work with that software and uh, we are also going to talk about this sql what this sql is because you see that major portion of this unit is um, uh, contains this sql and its different functions so let us talk about this oracle first now oracle is as i told you is a database management system software so if you want to create a database and then you want to manipulate this database and Uh, deal with this database creating different kinds of views and dealing with multiple users you will be requiring a, a database management system software as we have already talked about uh, this in our theoretical classes now uh, we are choosing oracle as our database management system software there are different um, database management system softwares in the market oracle is one of them there is microsoft's sql server and there are many more but oracle is the most famous one and uh, it is also uh, mentioned in your syllabus and as well as we will be talking about this sql later so before we begin with uh, how, what this oracle functions like so first we have to install it for installing this oracle we will be needing its uh, setup file so for that let us let us see how to download it so we will open our internet uh, uh, explorer browser will uh, we will uh, type in download uh, oracle software so this first link here talks about uh, it is basically the official link that is oracle.com so we'll open that and you see that there are different products that is oracle organization provides so you have databases you have middleware softwares your applications anything related to it infrastructure java as you know have been has been now purchased by oracle oracle is basically an organization so java uh, is now under oracle and any other de developer tools or uh, driver utilities etc now we specifically want a database or database software so we'll click on database and it takes us to this portion here you have different kinds of database softwares uh, you can see that we have database 19c enterprise as well as the standard editions etc there, there are different versions of this and then there is these kinds of database software so we will be specifically dealing here with uh, the database um, uh, database 19c is the latest one so we'll click on this so as we click on this you see that it gives us a different different versions and different uh, formats of this software so here you see at the top oracle 
database 19c that is 19.5 version which is the latest latest one this here is the operating system name so the type of operating system and the type of the file and uh, then if you want to see any uh, any notes related to this so we will specifically look for microsoft x64 what kind of software you need depends upon what kind of windows you have specifically um, you have you are very popular uh, properly introduced with microsoft windows so if you want to check that version of microsoft windows like here you have this x64 which means a 64 bit windows what you can do is you can uh, go to the desktop can right click on this pc icon go to properties and here you can see that uh, this is a 64 bit operating system x64 so that tells you that this is a this is the windows 10 and this is the uh, 64 bit version of windows 10 so what you do is you will download the 64 bit version you can also find 32 bit version here in the list you can uh, you can find it somewhere around in this list so we uh, then also the different kinds of software releases there is this 12c etc now we will go to this and we will click on the zip file and once you click the zip file so you have to agree with it and you will click on download so i have already downloaded the software so i'll go to that download portion so this is the software so what i will do is i will right click on it and i will say extract files so i'll give a location where to extract i'll choose c drive and i can create a separate folder here say i'll create a new folder say i'll call it as oracle and uh, destination path i will choose as uh, oracle and that's it so i'll click ok and this will extract the software it's a very large file so it will take some time so once the software has been extracted we'll go to that c drive c drive is where we have uh, actually extracted this so you will find that oracle folder there and you can locate that setup folder setup app uh, this icon here now one thing you have to remember that once you run this setup you have to right click on it and run it as an administrator if you do not run it as an administrator this probably won't work and install this software so let's run it so it's probably going to check the device first and uh, once it completes the device checkup so it will be giving you different options you can see on the left side that these are the different kinds of options that we have been provided and it will go through this these steps gradually so there is this once you go through every step you will go on clicking the next and you will be going through uh, uh, these steps depending upon the choices you make it's not that every step you have to follow there will be some steps will be which will be chosen based on you uh, based on the options that we choose so let us see that this first thing asks us that uh, you can choose any of the install options you can either choose to create and configure a single instance of database this creates a starter database that means if you choose this option you will be given a, a database instance and you can immediately work on that and you can also choose to set up the software only so if for example you are just now trying to install the software and work on this later you can choose this option or you can choose this first option because i'm going to show you the first part of how to enter into the databases so we'll choose this option and click on next so you can also find these notes here always remember one thing whenever you you are installing a windows software 
just go through every information that is provided on the screen rather than skipping that information and later on you'll find yourself in trouble if you're not an advanced user so you can read these notes here and accordingly select the option so we select the first option and we click next so it will be verifying certain options and then it will give you an option of the type of database management system software you want to install there is this desktop class and there is the server class if for example we are advanced users and we want to create a database management system for an organization or we want to uh, we want to be an administrator etc so we'll be choosing the server class server class is obviously more functional than the desktop class it has more options and uh, it can it can be more flexible but of course you need to have uh, you ha have a firm grip on this database management system software you need to be aware of everything around uh, to run a server class database management system for now for educational purposes we will be choosing the desktop class notice that as, as we move along this steps we are going to choose so it already shows you after this we are going here so if we click next it will ask you the user through which you will be logging logging into this oracle software so there are different options first the recommended one is the use use of the virtual account that means it recommends you to choose the virtual account for example and if you uh, are a technical user you can you can use an existing windows user that means the user through which you are logged in or you can create a new windows user that means you can specifically create a windows user account just to learn the oracle or to uh, run this oracle software or you can use the windows built-in account so we'll, uh, here for now easy for, uh, for the easy installation we will choose the virtual account click on next now you see as we click next it will go to the installation location that means the software we have downloaded it is going to be installed on a particular uh, location on the hard drive so here you see that all the options have changed now so uh, there was this list of these softwares but now you have been uh, given uh, you have been given few steps now so first of all you will choose the location so the uh, so uh, you can you can configure it so the oracle base that means the drive is c drive okay location is never going to change because we have extracted our software location in our c drive which is which is an oracle folder which we did in the step one then we have the automatically chosen c o r a data you can change it for example um, we can instead uh, because uh, oracle we have already chosen so we will either write a directory name here or we can browse through this uh, uh, computer and we can choose graphically the location we can create different locations as in uh, when wanted so uh, oracle is already here so we'll, instead we will create um, say create a new folder we'll name it as data uh, say we'll name it as data base okay select it and we will choose we will be choosing enterprise edition there are different uh, editions like like we saw in the during the download process there is the stand standard edition there is this enterprise edition so we'll choosing we will be choosing enterprise editions and then the character set and then we have this global database name so this is the name of the database which is uh, which is accessible to all the users this is by default orcle and we'll be choosing a password for it for now i will for educational purposes i will be using password as password which is actually wrong thing to do so for now i'll be choosing password and uh, then i'll be clicking next you see that once we give this password as the uh, password itself it will be it gives me a warning that the admin password entered does not conform to the oracle recommended st standards because the recommended standards say that there should be different um, cases of uh, alphabets small capital there should be alphanumeric characters numbers etc so for now for easy purposes we have set the software as this is just a warning okay so if it was an error it would not allow us to go to the next location the next step so this is next uh, yes so we have to choose the uh, 
you have to choose the location so oracle base say we will choose this oracle where we have the software so we'll click next and uh, here it's it tells me that this admin password does not conform to the standard it also tells me the uh, current available memory is less than the required available memory that is 3.3214 that is 3 GBs for creating the databases and it also tells me that Oracle uh, base and Oracle of same, which cannot be the same so we can change this for example say let us say browse so instead of this we'll be choosing uh, we had created that C say database okay so these two are warnings the errors are gone the errors are usually shown in red colors so these are warnings so we'll be clicking to continue if you choose no it will stop here if we choose details it will give us the uh, it will give us the recommendations of different passwords you can choose so we'll for now click continue and it will be verifying the environment etc and the minimum configuration needed to install the software so it is doing some prerequisite checks and it gives that uh, then after doing the prerequisite checks it will give us the summary of what it has learned and if there are any problems here you can uh, see them here and you can even change certain things if you want to so click, click install you can also save this response file for later use so we'll cl click on install and it will start installing the file so and then inst installation will take some time so we'll wait till the installation and so once the installation is finished you can check this uh, message that the configuration of the oracle data database was successful and uh, this is the local host and um, you can also access this oracle manager through this local host you can note down this not uh, this um, this um, port number and uh, finally click on close so once this is done this this uh, this configures your uh, oracle database management system so once this installation ends we will go to this installation list and go to oracle so here are the list of products that are installed with this oracle uh, dbms so we go to the sql plus and here we will check whether our database has been connected so we'll write as connect as sysdba sysdba is basically the admin default um, this is created by default so sysdba and press enter and here you just don't press any password just click enter and it says connected to the oracle database 19th version that is what we installed 19.3 and it is in sql from here we are going to now write the commands that are mentioned in your uh, syllabus so here so the types of commands and etc all the functions here so once we connect to this sql this completes the installation of the software this means that the software has completed uh, successfully we can also this is how we connect to this command line of the sql so we go to the oracle installation and we will go to the sql plus that's where we will be working from alternatively you can run uh, run the command um, uh, command prompt and you can uh, write as uh, sql plus sql plus slash no log and it will take you directly to the sql that means you are connected to the sql so from here we will be writing the commands and we will be uh, you know, we'll be doing all the stuff that is in the in our syllabus thank you i hope that this covers the installation part and uh, 
I hope that I have made it easier of uh, easier installing this SQL uh, this Oracle and finally letting you know steps that are required to successfully install an Oracle DBMS on our software that's it thank you